here climbing up onto the wharf you can see the seven foot eight inch tall black ghost of Clay Peter. You might have a knurled hand and no face but the dude gets a bad rap. Legend has it that the black ghost appeared to a dock worker in 1595 and he said how are the grain stocks to which the dock worker replied yep they're good and uh, to which the black ghost replied no you haven't got enough you need to do something about it it was then that the dock worker went back to his bosses and reported what the black ghost had told him and it's legend has it that the city then went and increased its grain stocks and in the following years the growing seasons were very very bad and the city survived because of the black ghost goodbye friendly black ghost so if you haven't already guessed i'm in clay peter lithuania after a horrendous 20 hour ferry ride we're here in this beautiful seaside town it's time to have a look around. Have a look at this amazing old bridge. It's on a turntable, so they can still open it to allow vessels to traverse the pass. But it's not uh, electric, it's mechanical. There's the drives in the middle of the bridge. Basically put the poles in, walk in a circle, drives the gear around and opens the bridge. There is a schedule and I've been waiting for them to open the bridge but uh, there's nobody here and there's no boats so I don't think we're going to get to see anybody opening the bridge. Well, ahead of me is Jonas Hill, a Dutch style star shaped fortification from the 17th century. What's up the top here? Okay. All right. How big these uh, fortifications were built was uh, largely dependent upon where you stood in the royal family. The more important you were, the bigger your fortifications. This is, of course, is a man-made island in the middle of this fortification looks like they're setting up for a fireworks or a music festival or something yes as you can see from the sign clay peter is celebrating its 770th birthday she's a little bit windy today but i can see the masts of a tall ship poking out over the top of the building Better go over there and have a look. Impressive. All weather boats for you to paddle up and down this beautiful waterway. Apologies, they're not paddle, they're electric. Here we've got a collection of some important maritime equipment. Ah, these are ballast stones for the bottom of the, uh, the boat so she doesn't turn turtle. What have we got here? Big old propeller. the old timber here yeah the old information signs are uh, seen better days that's a different man on a horse okay just need to find the piano accordion player now 
beautiful area this and the big old classic boat has been turned into a uh, a restaurant and here we go We're looking for the perfect Instagram post here <laughs> This is a new variation on the Love Locks. We're not on a bridge in this city. We've got our own special little Love Lock globe. It's time to enjoy some typical or traditional Lithuanian foods. I have, this is a sauerkraut soup with a pork rib in it. And here, this interesting looking drink is a hot tea that also has uh, raspberries, honey, and ginger. Not so sure about that, but we'll give it a crack. Okay, now that soup was delicious. Now I've got what I would call tepalini. I think they call it something slightly different here. It's basically like a fried mashed potato filled with meat, and you tip your sour cream and bacon over the top of it. By the way, that drink I ordered, that's also fantastic. All right, time for me to eat this. Well, Davaris restaurant, that is probably the best meal I've had in the last month on this entire trip. Kudos to the chef. Oof. The old fish smoke is working overtime. Running for the ferry. Let's go. Fairy, she's got the rock and rolls. We're only going a few hundred meters. Significant port facilities here at Clay Peter. Came all the way down this channel yesterday in the ferry. Across the river, walking through the forest, making our way to the beach. I've seen a few beaches on this trip, and fair to say they've been underwhelming. So this is their last chance. Let's check out the uh, Clay Peter Beach and see how it stacks up. Water temperature, 18 degrees. I'll take that as a warning. She's a bit windy. That was a really nice beach. It's just a pity it's so windy today. And that's probably the uh, biggest challenge in this part of the world, isn't it? Getting, uh, getting nice days. There are many kilometers of cycling paths, both here on this spit of land to the beach and around the city with these really well marked out uh, tourist trails. It'd be worth staying an extra day just to hire a bike and explore them all but uh, unfortunately on this occasion time is against me down the end of the spit here they've got a dolphin area this is meant to be a very very good aquarium but they also do a dolphin show 
and the civilized world knows better than to treat dolphins that way in this day and age. Very big industrial zone, LPG plant across the river. Gotta hide under a tree. The, li <laughs> the Lithuanian weather is back. She's uh, coming down quite hard. First Lithuanian submarine built in 1968. 7.5 meters long, 2.9 meters wide, 1.5 meters high, 3 tons, petrol powered, plus two 12 volt motors with batteries. Plenty of boats on display here. This is all free. Enter and have a look at the boats. For my running friends, nowhere else but in the Smiltine Runners can race a nautical mile, 1852 meters. Winners of three and six nautical miles are perpetuated in this stone waiting for you every year on the second Saturday of October at 12 p.m. And here we go here's the stone with the race winners six nautical mile winners Classic old buildings here in Clay Peter. You can um, see the German influence on the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I wasn't expecting much of this city where I knew I was coming here, but uh, it's bloody beautiful. And very interesting as well. What's this thing? Kudos to Clay Peter. This is the first city in Europe that had a decent amount of these you are here maps so you can work out where you are. Fantastic. Here come the paddlers up the river. Well, if I had more time, I would do that. Well, that's the end of my day. I'm back here in my apartment. Uh, tomorrow we head back to Vilnius and this part of the adventure comes to a finish. Anyway, thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.